Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company and today we have for you this Jaguar F-Type on a 21 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside you can see it's a two-door car with those 20-inch black alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have that single rear exhaust in the centre there. We've got reversing sensors in this car as well. And given the nature of the vehicle, plenty of boot space too. OK, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of those controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see not only is it a great looking car, it's in fantastic condition as well. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, first of all, we have the speedometer. We have the rev counter on the right-hand side. Within the rev counter, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so we're in park at the moment, of course. We've also got the cool and temperature gauge over that side and the fuel gauge on the left-hand side. In the center, you can see the total miles for this car. They are 9,206. And in those 9,206 miles, uh, this car has had two services with a Jaguar main dealer as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have our phone controls. Over on the right-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And behind the steering wheel, the minus and plus pedals so that you can change up and down the gear manually with this automatic gearbox, should you wish to do that. Over in the center, we then have the main touch screen for the car. Uh, so up on here, you can access various things from, of course, uh, your satellite navigation. We can come back out uh, to where we were a moment ago from down the bottom uh, right-hand corner there. We can access our phone, of course, and our media settings. So this is where you'll go when you want to listen to music. We've got DAB radio, as you can already see there. Uh, you can access your various different radio bands from in that section as well. So DAB, FM and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Uh, there's a number of ways in which you can do that. You can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio, for example, once you've paired up your phone, which is done by hitting the phone button, and then following the instructions on screen from here, which we're not going to do at this moment in time. Uh, this vehicle also has a full colour reversing sensor to go along with those parking sensors. Uh, so you can see that being displayed up on the screen now. And it has guidelines that show you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that's being shown on the screen as well. Below that, we then have our dual zone climate control for the car. Uh, so you are able to adjust the passenger temperature and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from here. The air conditioning is on at the moment, so you can turn that off, back on again, or you can put the whole system into auto, which you can see just there. The car will now maintain these temperatures for you. You can override that manually whenever you wish to. You see auto has now gone off. We can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperatures we've set. And this button will double up as uh, the adjustment for your heated uh, driver and passenger seats as well, which you can adjust from uh, up on there. We've also got a heated front and rear screen available to you as well. The start and stop button for the engine is just here. Uh, over on the left-hand side, we have the volume for the stereo, the gear lever, for the fully automatic gearbox. So you have park, reverse, neutral drive, and a sport mode, so you can manually change up and down a gear from here, as well as using the paddles on the steering wheel. We have an electronic handbrake. We've got the ability to uh, change our settings. So for winter driving, for example, or for on the track, you can adjust them here. Uh, we can turn our traction control off within the car as well. We can change the uh, exhaust settings, so we can make the exhaust louder or quieter with that button and you can really hear the difference. I'm not sure that that'll pick up on video too well, but in person you can hear that the second you push it. This car's also got stop and start, which you can turn off from there. It's designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. As I say, that's where you turn that system off and you can open and close uh, the rear spoiler should you wish to as well. The last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic roof we have here. So we have a manual sun blind that you can open up. And once that's open, as you can see, that lets in a huge amount of light to the cabin area. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or if you'd like a bespoke live video walk around of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.